Well, storm damage has caused more than a dozen down power lines near Chalmers. News Channel 18's Ava Wilhite has team coverage from White County. Ava. The National Weather Service has yet to confirm if it was straight line winds or a tornado that hit White County, but hundreds of people are still without power. Power lines are down as far as the eye can see on County Road 700 South near Chalmers. White County Emergency Management Director Rose Brady estimates at least 21 poles are down. Shutting the road down from Chalmers to 18 on all the way on 43. Traffic was diverted around due to the power pole behind me here that was leaning over, broke, and power lines going across the highway. Brady says local fire crews were out until 5 in the morning keeping roads clear. She says her office received reports of strong winds, dust, and debris all throughout the county. Chalmers resident Mark King believes straight line winds caused the damage. They broke off like toothpicks halfway up in the air, off the ground, and they're blown into the field 20, 30 feet. They just didn't fall over. King says he has not seen a storm like this hit White County in a long time. For 20 minutes, sustained uninterrupted wind. The uh, horizontal rain and our lights blinked. And then everything went out, never came back. Over on 900 South near Brookston, president of the county EMA advisory board, Tommy Bartlett, was told by a neighbor that a tornado went over his house. He called, they were going uh, west on State Road 18 and, and seeing a funnel cloud go across. I, uh, he didn't really say whether it was on the ground, but told us to take cover. Bartlett says thankfully his house and barn only lost a few shingles. The town of Brookston lost power but is still functioning. The family expressed gas pumps are not in service, but the convenience store is. The clerk could not speak on camera, but said they are only accepting cash transactions. Many people in White County are still without power. We did receive an email from White County REMC saying six to 7,000 people in White and Carroll counties experience power outages and they have no specific estimated time when power will be restored. And according to the NIPSCO website, more than 1,000 customers near Monticello and Monon should get their power back on tonight. However, if you live in Oakdale and Chalmers, where there's extensive damage, power will not be returned until tomorrow night. A NIPSCO spokesperson says they have 300 field uh, personnel working on power restorations throughout the night. Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18.